welcome. Ni hao, welcome. Ni hao, welcome. Whoa, <laughs> pretty nice way to be greeted. Unbelievable. Every single girl is sexy as hell. I, mean, I, I, I had no idea a place like this was on Restaurant Row. Focus, guys. We gotta find Zhang. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Are you having a nice evening? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, ni, ni hao. Uh, uh, hey, uh, we were referred by a girl named Saiko. Oh, the girl who was being interviewed just now? Someone in the VIP room requested her, so she's in there. A VIP room? Yeah, it's in the back. Funny how she's so popular already. She claims she was Chinese, but she's not, is she? Oh, um, I, I think she's got some Chinese. <laughs> Nobody here believes that, sweetie. Well, does that mean she's not getting hired? Oh, she probably did get hired if she's in the VIP room. But why, if she's not Chinese? Because the rest of us don't want to go in the VIP room. That's where the owner's friends hang out. They get to have whatever type of fun they want in there. And a lot of that fun is pretty gross. These friends, are they from the Liomong? Yeah, they're here almost every day, harassing the girls and just being awful. There's a bald guy who's especially horrible. He's the owner's oath brother. Bald? Is he a clean-shaven kind of big guy? Yeah! You seen him? He's the absolute worst! None of us want to deal with him, so they gave him to Sayako. <sighs> I feel bad for her. Wait, you saying Saigo's with them right now? Put it out! No one said you could touch me, you pervert! <laughs> On the contrary, your boss said I could have my way with you. Sachan! You okay? This nasty cue ball head tried to lick my armpit! That's a new one. You know, when most guys do something I don't like, it's a kiss or a grope. Did you try licking just to throw me off? You deal with creeps that often? Ugh. What the fuck are you all doing in here? We were looking for you, Shang Tsun. Huh. Gone for that money I took from you. Nah, you can keep that chump change. We want you to spill some beans concerning the Yokohama Liu Mong. Are you really this stupid? No one's gonna tell you stuff about the Liu Mong. They ain't just some street gang, idiot! I know you're saying that just to play up your loyalty. But then again, how loyal are you really? Maybe I ought to put you to the test. 
What? You wanna fight? Not if you tell me what I need to know. If you don't, well, it's a different story. Ugh. So you wanna go another round? Right here? No! No, I don't! But you gotta realize, if I blab to you, I am done for! They'll have my head on a stick! They'll have your head on a stick either way. What? If you don't start talking, I'll tell the leader of your gang exactly how you shake down the homeless. I wonder what he'll do then. You think you can threaten me with my own brothers? Ah, that's a great way of putting it. Wish I would have worded it like that. Shit! How the hell did this all happen? It happened because you decided to dig into the pockets of some poor, helpless bums. It's a little late for regret, don't you think? No. Because I still regret going easy on you. If I'd known you'd pull this kind of shit, I would have killed you when we met! Come on, brothers! These guys think they can make a joke out of the Leomar! Kill them where they stand! Throw their bodies into the base so the fish can eat them! Yes, yes sir! sir. Get 
Don't die just yet. Like I said, I have some questions for you. Fuck you! You think I'd tell you anything? So you want me to rat you out to your leader then? Wait. If I tell you, will you promise not to tell them? Have some faith in me, will ya? I'm not an asshole. Could've fooled me. There's no reason for me to believe you won't rat. So, now you're not telling me? Fine. It's ratting time. Fucker! Hey! Bring the manager in here! I want to tell him how the Honorable Liu Meng name is being used to shake down homeless guys for scraps! Okay! I'll talk! I'll talk! What the hell do you want to know? The owner of the soap land? Why would Mabuchi-san want to kill that guy? I mean, the place was on Seiryu Plan turf. There must be some mistake. Yeah, it don't make sense to us either. That's why we want to ask Mabuchi himself. You know for sure he ordered the hit? I definitely heard people shouting Lao Ma over the phone. No doubt in my mind. Really? Well, that is what his subordinates call him. Only his subordinates? You don't call him Lao Ma too? Nah. I don't speak a lick of Chinese. What? But... but... you're Liu Meng. The Yokohama Liomang was founded by my grandfather's generation, dumbass. So yeah, back then everyone spoke Chinese. But us second and third gen guys were born and raised in Japan. Granted, some of us can speak like Chinese diplomats. Some are more like Chinese toddlers. The only words they know are ni hao and JJ. Hello and thank you. You're a Chinese citizen, right? Yep. Good thing, too. If you're born to a pair of illegal residents in Japan, you have no citizenship at all, from any country. So then you can't even go to school. A lot of the Liu Meng can't even read because of that. Reminds me of how the Yakuza used to be. Now I see why you and your brother stick together so tight. The rest of the country doesn't accept you. Is Mabuchi illiterate too? No. I mean, he was born poor like most of the Leo Mom. Right in this town, actually. But then he studied like hell, graduated from a top college, learned not only Chinese, but English and Korean. He's fucking smart, so he hangs out with a bunch of other smart guys. But I ain't one of them. I've never even spoken to him. Know where he is now? No idea. What about his phone number? Can't you take a hint, man? I am trying to tell you I don't run in the same circles as the guy. You better not be lying. I ain't. Seriously, I have no way of contacting him. This chump's not even on the first rung of the ladder. You got a pretty face, but your mouth needs work. What a bust. We went through all the trouble of getting into this joint for nothing. Wow. So it was for nothing that you beat me halfway to hell. We just thought you might know something about your own boss is all. <laughs> well, nothing we could do now. Yeah, guess you can scram, Zhang. So look, I know how it goes. How what goes? You're just gonna rat on me anyway, right? 
Huh? No, you got this all wrong, man. Do I? Hell yeah. We're not trying to bring you or anyone down. We just want to get to Mabuchi. And that's because he had something to do with our boss's murder. That's it. Sorry I knocked you around and all. But seriously, stop playing the victim. You're the one who did wrong, anyhow. <sighs> but hey, we're not gonna kill you for it. And we don't want to see your body turn up on the evening news, either. <sighs> yeah. Point being, you can trust us not to rat. We know you gave us as much info as you could. And we're done now, so just go home and forget this. It's not as if I don't know anything. What? So you do know something? Not any personal stuff about Mabuchi-san. But I know some things about his businesses. He's got several. The largest is the Yokohama Trading Company. Yokohama Trading Company? Yeah, it does what you'd expect. It buys ingredients and kitchen stuff from China and sells them to restaurants here. Some of their customers are these real high-class places in Chinatown. I thought Mabuchi hated Chinatown. Oh, he does. <laughs> this is his way of getting revenge. When he first started the company, no one in Chinatown would take a meeting with him. But his stuff was top-notch and fucking cheap to boot. So they couldn't ignore him forever. The economy was in shambles, so even the Chinatown big shots couldn't pass up good, cheap products. Eventually, they were begging to do business with a the guy they'd shunned. <laughs> Mabuchi-san got a kick out of that. Now they can't stay open without him. Okay, so Yokohama Trading is his biggest venture? Well then, he probably stops in to check on it every now and then, wouldn't you say? Uh, maybe. But I used to work there part-time, and I never saw him once. You work there? Yeah. Their warehouse is on the other side of Hamakita Park. I was in the warehouse, unloading boxes from the ships that came in from China. Did that for about a month, and never saw Mabuchi-san. You got a job and stayed just one month? What, you expected consistency from a guy like this? Shut up! You two don't know shit! Loading freight's exhausting! Hey guys, what if we all got jobs at the Yokohama Trading Company? But Jang said Mabuchi might not ever show up. Yeah, that's true, but it's the only lead we have right now. And even if he doesn't show up, hell, we might find something that leads to him. Besides, all of us need a new income stream with Otohime Land shut down. Don't get your hopes up. The warehouse mostly hires Liumang guys. They're suspicious of Japanese people. I doubt you'll get through the door. Then it's time to ask our old friend for another favor. <laughs> you mean Kanbe-san at Hello Work? Yeah, that guy's got connections. I'm sure he could hook us up with a measly warehouse gig. <laughs> It'd be nice to make some money again. Seriously, I'm totally behind getting both intel and money. That's just being efficient. Moving freight is no job for a woman, sweet cheeks. Oh, really? You do realize that hostesses have to do a lot of manual labor, too. They'll have a job for everyone. Let's meet at Hello Work first thing in the morning. Yeah, let's call it a day and head back. Uh, hey, fellas. What? For real? You're not gonna tell Mabuchi-san about me taking money from the bums? He scares the shit out of me, to be honest. Do I have to keep repeating myself? We won't tell. 
Why'd you finally come clean about Mabuchi's business anyway? I felt like I owed you something, since you weren't gonna rat on me. Hey, I'm just glad you trusted me, man. But thanks for not being a prick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but while I'm at it, lay off harassing the ladies, would you? Sure, I'll tone it down to just kissing and groping. That work for you? Ichiban, let's kill him and be done with it. Okay, okay. It's all off the table unless I get their permission first. Is that good? Yo. Got it. Fight 
to the end. I got this. Whoa, whoa. Take your best shot. This out. How could you ever do this? Let's go. Hooray, hooray. <laughs> You're going to be in a world. I don't you. Get serious. Oh, you so I can't get caught. i down. Go in there. Let's go. Come on! Oh. 